The most important word ever uttered makes all the difference to our very existence. Without it, or its meaning, or the person who carries it, our whole life is empty, nothing, destined for hell. But with this, everything is changed. Every moment is open to meaning, filled with hope. It is the most powerful word on earth. It is Yeshua, Jesus, our Savior. The Archangel Gabriel was sent to the Virgin Mary to announce what heaven had known from eternity. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Saint Joseph, too, was instructed by an angel, Thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he was given the reason, for he shall save his people from their sins. Saint Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given to men, whereby we must be saved. And Saint Paul writes, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There is no name like Jesus, who said, If you shall ask me anything in my name, that I will do. Who else can speak like this and keep their word? Jesus draws us like no one else can. So St. Paul said he was ready not only to be bound, but to die also in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus inspires the very greatest of preaching. St. Bernard of Claveau, explaining the meaning of the verse, Thy name is as oil poured out, asks why is oil given as a symbol for a name? But he says the likeness between oil and the name of the bridegroom is beyond doubt, which likeness is to be found in the threefold property of oil, that it gives light, it nourishes, and it anoints. It gives light because it feeds the flame in a lamp. It also nourishes the body, and it also relieves pain. Therefore it is light, food, and medicine. St. Bernard asks, is this not true too of the bridegroom's name? When preached it gives light, when meditated it nourishes, when invoked, it relieves and soothes. He then explains each point. On the name of Jesus as light, St. Bernard asks, how shall we explain the worldwide light of faith, swift and flaming in its progress, except by the preaching of Jesus' name? To such as we, Paul says, you were darkness once, but now you are light in the Lord. On the name of Jesus as food, he continues that the very thought of this name, meditating upon it, gives us strength to the point where he says, if you write, there is no meaning for me, if I read not of Jesus there. Or if you preach or dispute, there is no meaning for me, if I hear not of Jesus there. St. Bernard doesn't want to read anything or hear anything unless it's about Jesus. That makes little sense to one in darkness. It makes complete sense to those who are on the way. St. Bernard says the mention of Jesus is honey in the mouth, music in the ear and gladness in the heart. On the name of Jesus as medicine, he asks, does someone fall into sin? Does his despair even urge him to suicide? Let him but invoke this life-giving name, and his will to live will be at once renewed. The hardness of heart that is our common experience, the apathy bred of indolence, bitterness of mind, repugnance for the things of the Spirit, have they ever failed to yield in the presence of that saving name? Because he is man, I strive to imitate him, and because of his divine power, I lean on him. His name has power because we know he is meek and humble of heart, kind, prudent, chaste, merciful, flawlessly upright and holy in the eyes of all. The mellifluous doctor says, Judea too has had her Jesus, Messiahs in whose empty name she glories, for they give neither light nor food nor medicine. Hence the synagogue is in the darkness still, enjoying the pangs of hunger and disease, and she will neither be healed nor have her fill until she discovers that my Jesus rules over Jacob to the ends of the earth. He bears no empty name. And in Hebrew the connection is obvious. To say my salvation, Yeshi, is to say my Jesus. The Lord is my light and my Jesus. Whom shall I fear? Anasta, arise, Lord, as in the resurrection. Redeem us for thy name's sake. Jesus redeems us for the sake of fidelity to his own name as Saviour. If Jesus did not save, his name is emptied. That's inconceivable. Rejoicing in this daily, 
The Church recalls in every Holy Mass those words of Palm Sunday, Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Another psalm said, I will sacrifice to thee, and will call upon the name of the Lord. And so the psalms are fulfilled in Holy Mass. When he is about to receive the body of Christ, the priest prays, Panem celestem accipiam et nomen domini in vocabo. I will take the bread of heaven, and will call upon the name of the Lord. And calicem salutaris accipiam et nomen domini in vocabo. I will take the chalice of salvation, and call upon the name of the Lord. It is in receiving Holy Communion that we call upon the name of the Lord, our Saviour. So in the litany to his holy name we ask, Jesus most powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus most patient, have mercy on us. Through thy cross and dereliction, deliver us, O Jesus. Through thy institution of the most holy Eucharist, deliver us, O Jesus. And with the Jesus prayer, we simply repeat, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. There is no person who ever walked this earth who is close to the greatness of Jesus. There is no name close to the greatness of his name. In Holy Mass, we come to Calvary and kneel before Jesus because he humbled himself, becoming obedient unto death, even to death of the cross. That in the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those that are in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. It is better to do this now, voluntarily, with love, to bow the knee to his name and to confess he is Lord, than to refuse to do this now and then be compelled to do it with bitter resentment forever in hell. In another sermon, St. Bernard explains, It is no wonder that it should be at his circumcision that the name of Jesus, which is being interpreted Saviour, is given to the child who is born unto us. For it was then that for the first time he shed that sinless blood, which is the mean by which he chose to work out our salvation. How many proofs God gives us that everything was foreseen, everything carefully arranged in advance. Saviour is his name from everlasting. It is Jesus' proper nature to save. So it is the most important word ever uttered.